Hello everybody and welcome to the Verizon Grand Prix of Road America as we continue season four of the Daskar Pokemon Pro series. We had our nine race world tour earlier to start the season and now the second half of the season will all be in American tracks. Uganda's Marco Yates on the pole position alongside Australia's and Annie Thomas. But from here on out, it is all American tracks, so I wonder how these international stars will deal with a big track like Road America. Already a couple drivers bunched up in the back and the start for whatever reason. They better hurry up. But anyway, we're about to go green here in Road America. And this is a rare race here because usually racing's not that great. Um, in Road America, we'll try the best we can to give you some action. The green is out. Oh wow, three wide already. Look at Mason Powers. Oh, spin! Top two cars spin. Ooh, big crash. Wow, eventful start to the race. Big crash in the back. My goodness, what an eventful start here at Road America. We saw Jamie Pintor, John Andrews, Mark, and the two top two drivers have wrecked. James Richardson is involved. Wow, are you kidding me? My goodness. Wow, <laughs> just a, an, I never expected an eventful start like that at Road America. We had raced Pullman Cup races at this track, but they were never exciting. But I think Daskar looks to be a little, a little bit more. Huh. Look at the run Amari Stonemeyer Jr. got. He gets the run. Ooh, ooh, Corey's getting too close. Ooh, man, turning is just apparently not that great for these drivers at this track. They got to be careful. <laughs> Lucky Mason Powers was lucky enough to avoid the crash and in the top two. They were going almost three wide to the start of the race. I mean, they were about to go three wide and then the two drivers wrecked out. Down the final chicane. Powers going to lead to the caution unless if something screws up. We've seen turns that don't go their way, so these guys got to be very careful. There's a lot of sand traps in this corner. Now uphill for the final leg and Powers leads to the caution and Ryan Acosta has wrecked out. What happened to him? Oh, we got contact from the number nine, Andrea Baranaskis, and Acosta goes around. What about Jamie Pintor? What happened to him? We saw one car smoking as well. On the start of the race, one of three wrecked and lap one alone. What happened? Uh, let's try to get a good view. There was a crash. Right here, there was a crash. It's James Richardson. Only way we can get a good view is if we can get the helicopter view. There's the top two slipping and ooh, big crash. Richardson's loose. There's John Andrews spinning around. What happened to him? Oh yeah, he got right into James Richardson. And then Jamie Pintor was involved. Top two spun already. The front row starters took themselves out of the race. How weird is that? Right here, they got up to turn one. They didn't even make it through the turn. Both drivers in the gra in the sand, and they learned the hard way about the tough track, Road America. How about this? The top 15 drivers, all American. Wow, <laughs> this American-made track gonna be for the for American drivers. It's very easy because they are experienced at this kinds of tracks. The internationals, as you can see, have a little trouble. We'll see how this will work out. Here we go. Powers leads to the green. Four cars out of the race already. Yikes. And once again, they're going three wide. This time for fourth place. Ooh, turn one is tight. Ooh, wow. I thought we were going to get another crash, but they made it through. 
Yet they're still going three wide. Wow. I never expected Road American to be like this. One car spun. No caution. That was Alex Hawkins who came from sixth position. Look at Jacob Lawler going to try for second place. Side by side battle. It's going to allow Powers to pull away. And how about Jacob Lawler getting second? Gets it away from Tony Green. Sachs is fourth and Roberts is fifth. There's Stoudemire Jr. But a side by side battle and Stoudemire Jr. goes by. Joseph Romanuk. Ooh, Ben Braley way too high. Again, these corners are tight. So getting in the grass loses momentum definitely and gets a little sand in the tires. They could warn quick. They make the tires wear out more quick. So these guys got to keep their eyes on the tires and on the track in order for them to get the best speed. So far, Powers pulls away for now. But we don't know how long it will be until Lawler tries to close in. If he can close in, as you know, Road Course is not really known for passing. So we did see a couple passes uh, to start early on, though. And here we're going to see a pass right here. Joseph Romanuk gets by, and there's a caution. We had a crash. Zach Fitzwater. Zach Fitzwater got in a crash. He was involved in an incident. What happened? Ooh, Pichu and Daniel Beauchard. A crash. Zach Fitzwater was in it. We saw Jamie Pintor wreck. The Penske NASCAR cars are not doing so great. Ooh, no, no, no. Wow, and there's Pintor. Pintor's out again. Oh, man. Pintor is out again. Wow. Second time today Pintor involved in a crash. His car just got totaled. I mean, wow. It just went through a lot of big crashes. And we saw pit stops and Jamie Pint... No, no. Pintor's a lap down. Not sure how he got in front. If he did get out in front, it'd be surprising. But he's a lap car, obviously, so I'm not sure how that'll work out. Either way, it's going to be a crazy restart. Yep, these guys are a lap down. So, Powers keeps the lead, but he's got two lap cars in front of him to restart the race. How will this play out? We're going to green again. Oh man, look at the advantage. Look at this. As you see one car, Green is trying for the pass. Green's trying to get second. One car slid off track. Oh, two cars. Stoudemire Romanuk off the track and Annie Thomas on pit road. No yellow. Not yet. Tony Green gets second. Lopez gonna go for third place. So far, a fantastic race at Road America, except for the cautions, but, well, a lot better than I thought it would be. Huh. This Road America does have some excitement, after all. Third place goes to Lopez. Yes, he did it. Ooh, wow, high grass for Johansson. Hopefully he can stay on the ground. And Romana can't make it out. He's on pit road. So Powers leads again. Green trying to catch up to the Powers machine. So Mason Powers surely does have experience in Road America. So he knows the track in and out. He's hoping to take that to victory lane. How about Tony Green though? On the restart he was fifth. And now he's back in second. How about Lopez from seventh to third? And Lawler stays fourth. But... Gonna try for third place. Ooh, little tight corner there. There is passing as possible, and passing is possible in Road America. Surprisingly, last time I had races at this track, it wasn't, but now they are. We had a crash, and it's Pichu again. Pichu got wrecked out again. This time he got dumped. 
Brings out the yellow. You're kidding. Ooh, Gabrielle Wanderlei just dumped Pichu. Now it's going to set up a restart with just five laps to go. There'll be three to go when we get back to green. Okay. Pichu's out. Finally giving up. Giving up. But we'll see if these gar cars can stay alive here at Road America. Three laps to go. Will Mason Powers hold on? Green has stayed, stayed right behind him. And look at the boost David Johansson got. Here comes Green. Going to go for race lead. Turn one. Oh boy, crash! Big crash! Someone's tire just flew off the track! The big one is struck in Road America! That's gonna be the race! And Green makes the move! Wow, that was a big crash! I saw someone's tire just flew off! Wow! Side by side, this is for the win! It's Green or Powers! Green's waited all this time to make a move. He gets him. Power still, still a chance. Back then, back for battle for third. And he's got it. Green's got the race lead. Avi Sachs, Jacob Lohr, battle for third place. Sachs is off the track. How about this? Tony Green, right move, right time. Oh no! Whoa! Contact with Waller and Isaiah Bernash for fourth. Nearly turned each other. Race is over, obviously, because one, and that was Robert Piet's tire that went off. Big crash. Yikes. Green final corners, down the hill, uphill for the final time. And he made the right move at the right time. Uphill, Tony Green leads. Woo, Powers trying to get one more run. Won't get to him in time. And Tony Green leads to the yellow with two to go. But we have got to see the amazing crash that ended this race. And I mean, someone's tire... It was probably Robert Piet's tire that flew off the track. But an exciting race at Road America. Wow. Yeah, someone flipped. It was Piet. Oh! Ooh! Wow, that tire must have gotten in the trees. And the big one struck here. Man, just incredible. Let's see where the tire went. I gotta wonder. I wonder. It just disappeared. It just vanished. Here's an onboard look again. Ooh, man. This is just wow. An, an, a, 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 a chaotic end to a good race. Road America is just great, but man, that was just a scary wreck. Lopez flips upside down. Lopez was upside down, head first. That's a really hard head. Now we get to see where the tire went here. It just disappeared. The tire went away. It just disappeared. Just, wow. A big crash to end the race. And everybody was just spinning in the back. But Tony Green, we'll see if he can hold on though. We've seen weird stuff happen. And they're pitting! On the final lap! Okay, the lead is gonna go to... Jose, maybe. No, they're a lap down. Uh-oh. Sorry, a little lag bubble. I don't know who would have the lead right now. No score yet. Okay. Powers is out. But there's cars right in front of him. And the others. 
Not sure who will be ruled the winner. Is it Jose Panis? Is it going to be Jose Panis? Let's see. Checkered flag comes out. And I think it's Jose Panis. Yes, it is. Jose Panis wins the race. Wow. Crazy ending. They stayed out, and it turns out it was the best call because they had more than enough fuel to stay out and win the race. And Tony Green finished sixth. Huh. Bizarre finish. But Cameroon's Jose Pen Penice gets the win here in Road America in one of the most surprising finishes of the season. Wow. Didn't expect this to happen. But, well, it just did. And Jose, Cameroon, very proud of Jose for getting the win. And we saw Americans took over, but it's an international sweet podium. Highest American in the um, field, Justin Roberts, was second. And Gabriel Wanderlei of, out, out of Brazil, third. James Simmons, fourth. And then Ant Annie Thomas was fifth. Those were the five that stayed at. Wait. Not Thomas, sorry. Jamie Pintor was fifth. He wrecked out twice and he overcame obstacles to get a top five finish. Amazing, amazing comeback for Jamie Pintor. He overcame two crashes to get a top five finish. Amazing. And there you see Green six, just shocked. He lost that win. But it was a real shame too because him and Powers were battling it out for the win. And by the way, Powers came home ninth. But a real shame, though, because that race to the line was just exciting. And Green took a win. Took would it looked like Green took a win away in Road America. But surprise, surprise, pit stops came out. And five stayed out. And it was the right call. And it led to Jose Panice getting the win here in Road America. In the very first race at Road America. Oh, man. Just surprising. I mean, just to say the least, it was a surprising finish. Well, that kicks off our American portion for the second half in the Pro Series. We'll see you guys in our next race.